Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3D video. Like always, I'm BJ. Today we're going to be talking about something important. Uh, not particularly 3D printing itself, but something related to 3D printing. We're going to be talking about IP cameras. I know what you guys are thinking, VJ, why are we talking about IP cameras when this is a 3D channel? Well, they go hand in hand. Most of us out there, I'm pretty sure, have been at work while our printer's been running and you're wondering how the printer's doing, or is my print halfway through falling off, or is the first layer sticking, if there's any kind of a knock on wood electrical issue uh, that can be hazardous, or if you're already at home and your 3D printers are in one room, and you're in the other room, not to sound lazy, but walking back and forth just to check and make sure, as much as we enjoy watching our prints print, is everything going okay? So because of that reason, we're gonna be talking about remote monitoring or remote viewing of our 3D printers and the prints that it's doing. So with that said, guys, let's go and start our video on remote monitoring. All right, so the box itself uh, comes pretty well packaged. I really don't have any complaint about it. I did get a little few dings and nicks here um, on the box on the outside itself it tells you basically what are some of the features of the camera here uh, you can basically access this through Wi-Fi of course uh, your mobile phone app uh, very easy to set up which we'll go over and it does have day and night vision so that's kind of cool and it also has two-way audio which I really really like about this uh, camera so let's go and get it opened up and let's see what's inside all right so once you open the camera as you can see it's very well packaged uh, it comes with the power cord of course and then you have a mount which is provided to you if you want to go ahead and mount it on the wall um, all the necessary screws which are right here and I do like the mount because it does angle and all you gotta do is tighten that and it won't move anymore so that's the last time we're gonna be talking about this mount and then you get a little disk here uh, for those of you who still have computers with uh, disk drives um, you can use this and download the software for remote viewing and then the bad boy itself the IP camera made by Sun Eyes so let's take a closer look at this Alright, so here's the IP camera itself, guys. As you can see, uh, it has pretty cool, nice design to it. Again, it is made by Sun Eyes. So taking a look at the back part, guys, right here, if you'll notice, uh, it does have an Ethernet port there. So if you do mount this camera to somewhere where you have access to an Ethernet line, you can actually plug it right on in there. Uh, here you have a micro SD slot. Um, so you can actually record uh, what the camera is viewing up depending on the size that you get also the USB here is actually the charging uh, plug so you plug it right on in there and plug it into the wall uh, and that's how you get the power so sorry I said charging it does not charge you have to have it plugged in at all times and this is where you would plug it in to do that now here is the screw that um, that goes onto the mount that I had showed you earlier now before I go any further, just to let you guys know, uh, if you are interested in this camera, I will put a link down below and also I'm just going to do a review on it and for the first half and the second half I'll actually walk you through the installation of the application. So for those of you that just want to see the review, just watch the first half, you don't have to watch the second and for those of you that want to learn how to install the app, if you've already purchased it, uh, I will walk you through that as well. So let's go ahead and continue with the review. Um, of course, like I said, it is a Wi-Fi IP camera. Uh, the megapixels there is going to be one megapixel. Uh, one thing I did not talk about is the price. The price, when uh, you click on the link below, will take you to a site and it'll say $65. But I will also post a coupon code, which will bring it down to $49 if you guys are interested in that. Um, now, this camera does tilt 90 degrees, and I don't want to move it too much because it is uh, geared, so it does get controlled with the app, so I don't want to manually mess anything up, but you can tilt it up or down about 90 degrees, and it pans, and what that means is turns left to right about 355 degrees. That's correct. They left out that 5 degrees just because of the wiring, I'm assuming, so it's not 360, 
but it is 355 and if you notice right down here I'm, I'm assuming that's where the mic is at so the two-way feature is actually very good I did use this and I will show you some captures of what this camera is capable of and uh, one cool feature about it is while I was in my room uh, doing 3d printing uh, my wife actually used the app and communicated back and forth with me through this so not only does it work as an IP camera it also works as a intercom so I did really like that feature as well now continuing on uh, it's a very small size nothing too crazy this camera does do 720p along with 1080p depending on what settings you pick um, you can get multiple cameras connect them all together or uh, from your app you can watch or four people can watch this camera so up to four max users on this guys um, you can and again you can watch from Apple or Android or PC whatever uh, you want one cool thing I really did like about it it does have a zoom feature so you can actually zoom in from the app itself which was kinda cool uh, I did try that out and it worked out pretty well for me uh, also the night vision uh, as you can see here there are some LED lights right there so once you turn off all the lights and which I will show you in the video I captured uh, later it actually does do a pretty decent job uh, when the lights are on it does a pretty decent job as well also another feature on this camera is you do get motion detection alerts so uh, if you do see motion uh, or the camera senses motion in the room it will alert your phone uh, if you have the app open uh, and it'll let you know that something's going on so I bought it for 3d printing but as far as security or even like baby monitor type you can use this so if your baby moves or if someone tries to break into your house or if your dog's moving or whatever it might be. So next, let's go ahead and take a look at how easy it is to install. Uh, now, I won't be able to do it for Androids, guys. I do apologize for that, but I do have an Apple. So for those of you that have an Apple phone, I will show you the easiest way of installing the software. And then after that, we're going to take a look at some screenshots. Alright guys, to install the app, very easy. Uh, you will not need the camera for this part, but you will need the quick start guide. You want to go and open this up to page 4, which is right there. And if you have an Android, uh, there's the code for that. And if you have an iOS, that's the code for that. So I highly recommend that you actually get one of these programs. They're very easy to, to use. And all you got to do is just hit scan down here. And since I am Apple, I'm going to go ahead and just scan that one. And it will automatically take you to the Apple page. And there you go. And all I'm going to do is hit get. All right. So the app is downloaded now. And for those of you that don't have the scanner, uh, it's actually called Cam High. C A M H I. And remember guys, very, very important, you have to be age four or plus to use this app. So let's go and get it open and let's go through the setup process. Once you get to this screen right here, guys, go ahead and plug in your IP camera. As you can see, it's gonna do its normal routine. Uh, it's gonna just kind of pivot and tilt up and down. And as it's doing that, it's not gonna be able to be discovered. Now, once it does its routine, you'll notice that the light here is blinking. And if you notice that sound, basically it's making like a little discovery sound and that's how it works. Now, make sure you're in a quiet room when you do this. Uh, unfortunately, I have my printer going, so I hope this picks it up. But when I add the printer or add the IP camera on here, it's actually going to work off some kind of sonar type technology, which I'll show you right now. So basically, this is going to send the sound to this. This is going to pick it up, and that's how the camera links up. So very important. Uh, make sure your phone is as close to the mic as possible. I'm actually going to turn this to the side. Uh, make sure you keep your phone like that. I found out if you just leave it like that, it doesn't really work that well. So when I kept moving it up and down very close by, uh, it did work. So let's go ahead and get started, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're going to do add camera. At this point for UID, uh, we're going to go and hit uh, scan URID, uh, UID, which is at the bottom right here. 
And once you do that, you'll notice that it automatically fills it in up here. After that, we're going to set up wireless installation. Now, this part, you have to actually enter your Wi-Fi password. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter that. All right, guys, so I've entered the password and everything. I hope you like my top-notch security right there with that tape. So uh, once you do that, you're going to go ahead and hit apply, and it's going to start making the sound, and I'll show you what it does after. Once the camera pick is picked up by the phone, then the camera is actually going to make a sound. It's kind of like a window startup sound, so let me show you what I'm talking about. And when you get this, basically what this is saying, it's a warning saying that make sure this camera is beeping like this. So as you can see, when it's beeping, it's in discovery mode. So is it beeping? Yes. Now, if you get this screen where it says device on land, basically what that means is it did not pick up. So you're going to have to do it again and head back and uh, you're going to do it. The UID is already in there. So you're just going to do wireless setup. You got to enter the password again and just keep doing it until you get it to go. So I'm going to try it one more time. And that's the sound you guys should get. Guys, let the phone do its thing and scan through everything and finish his little sonar test. And then um, I'll show you the setup process from there. All right, guys. So if you notice, once everything is set up, uh, the ID shows up here. All you got to do is click on it and hit done. And now it'll be under your cameras. So what we're going to do here is just go ahead and hit the camera itself. And there you go. And just to show you, this is a live feed. So there you go. That's how you set up the camera itself. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the screenshots look like. Um, I decided not to use the SD card because it's basically the same thing. So if you notice here, I got my prints going. And you can see it very clearly. No problem whatsoever. The quality is actually surprisingly very good. So... Um, and now we'll go ahead and uh, turn on the night vision or turn the lights off and see how night vision works. So the infrared kicked on and uh, you can see it's still doing a pretty good job. Not too shabby. I can still basically see the whole room. No problem. So if you have it directed at one thing, you should be able to get a good view out of it. There you go. And now just to let you guys know that I am sitting roughly around 30, 40 feet away from my wireless router. So that might affect the Wi-Fi quality as well. Well, guys, that's my review on the SunEyes IP camera, 1 megapixel. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and leave it down below. If you want to see more new content, go and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. Uh, thumbs up if you thought I did a good job. Down if you think I did a shitty job. So go ahead and decide that on your own. Uh, but that's about it, guys. I hope this was detailed enough, and I hope this helps you make up your mind, or if you've already purchased it, to go ahead and get the setup installed. Uh, with that said, just remember, like always, good luck and happy printing.